these Ethiopians are trouble, these Ethiopians are boss of themselves and to other Shekaras. And these Ethiopians are gossips. These Ethiopians, they are devilish, they are dangerous, they are oh Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rachel. If you're new on here, hello. I am Rachel Benedict. You are welcome to Rachel's Spot. And I am a maid in Saudi Arabia and I create content related to housemates in Saudi Arabia and anything that's gonna blow up my channel. Okay, hopefully. I'm you guys. And I just thought of talking about these Ethiopians and their Wahala. You guys, I, I, I know I've mentioned, if you don't know, anyways, let me just say it all over again. Okay, I work in a compound. A private private compound where you know we shagalas we are uh, open to everything and anything okay we can do whatever we want we can wear whatever we want to wear okay so you guys um i want to talk about this ethiopians and, and shagala hating on shagalas you know all this envy and girlish some yes i say girlish because i know guys do these things but i feel like we women we are the like we are our enemies, like we are our own enemies. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean. Guys, you see these Ethiopian people. Oh my God. When I met them, I beat my chest. I beat my chest and I told myself, thank God I am from Nigeria. I've always said this, don't get me wrong, but that day I was like, <sighs> my shoulders were like this, but <sighs> you guys, do you know the one thing I noticed about these Ethiopians is that they, they like I don't know they, they easily forget their space in in a madam's house. Why is my door closing by itself? Anyway, they I, I think that these Ethiopians they forget um their place in the house of their bosses. I don't know. They just put themselves in place of the madam instead. I don't know. The easy this is one thing I always say that we should not forget. Don't ever forget your place. Anyways, what happened was that my madam, there's a girl also called Naya. I'm sure you have seen her in one of my videos. I've shown the, the, this um, Naya before. It, she's my madam's um, daughter namesake. And they love each other. They love to play with each other. But, you know, I know they have been saying that uh, my madam... Anyways, let me start by saying that my madam is someone that cannot see something and remove her eyes. My madam is somebody that you know she 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 cannot keep something in like you know when you see something and be like oh my god I don't want a problem I don't want any issues what's my business with that you know no my madam is not someone like that she's gonna tell you to your face how it is and what you're doing that it's wrong okay and this is one thing I love so much about her meanwhile I am such a person also and and this is why most of the people around here that I work they they despise her let me put it that way like they dislike her so much yes i don't want to use the word hate even they told me you know when i first came the ethiopians one of them that speaks because almost all of them they don't speak english only one of them that's that understood english was talking to me and blah 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 they were talking to her and she was translate translating it to me you guys and um she uh, she was telling me that oh the girl that was with my madam before, she did blah blah blah, she did like this, she did, uh, she's good, but yeah, my madam, she's like this, she's like that. Yeah, everybody was just like... And then what happened was that, me, I just came newly. So I was kind of like listening to them and I was taking note of every damn thing they were saying. And after she told me that my madam is not good when she sees something that they are doing, because this is a compound, I feel like this is an agreement between the whole madams, like the Lebanese madams. The company I work with are only Leban Lebanese people. I think that I feel like this is the agreement between them that when they see something like one of their, their housemates doing something wrong, they should make sure they call um, the madam. So they are like working together. I don't know what, if you guys understand what I'm saying, but this is what I noticed when I first came. Like they are working together, okay? Even when you are your, your, your working around, the company is, is huge like it's large yeah when you walk when you're walking around sorry guys you can you notice I'm, I'm i don't know maybe i'm too i'm too observant i don't know what should i put it that way i don't know if you guys understand what i mean so i easily observe things around me i, I easily take note of things around me i can be looking this way and someone that is like right 
like maybe this side is staring at me there's that feeling that's going to come to me that oh someone is really staring at me and it's left to me if i want to look at you in the eyes or just keep looking at where i'm looking at and pretend that i didn't see you looking at me you guys i'm such a person i'm not even joking okay you like and these people they have this constant stare they stare at you so aggressively like look at me and move your eyes more like you know when somebody keeps staring at you like constantly like it, it makes you uncomfortable right so these people they find it so normal to do that and i'm like oh i'm putting my hair to work so what's that and me number one is that what i told myself in this housemate job is that whether there's camera in my house in my madam's house where i'm working there's there are cameras in the living room outside outside of the gate in naya's room in the staircase there's a camera okay but there's something about you being yourself that these people they notice okay there are things that i would say to naya in front of the camera i pit, i just pretend like there is no camera okay this is what i because and my mind mindset is i'm not gonna do anything wrong hopefully I'm not going to fuck this up. Hopefully, I'm not going to throw this opportunity to the trash. So, I'm just trying to work on myself every single basis. Of course, these kids, they make you feel like you, you should just... Uh, but you guys, last class, they are kids. <laughs> but you see these Ethiopians. I'm trying to explain things so you guys will get the details of what I'm about to say, okay? These Ethiopians, when they told me all this, and they, she made a statement that when my madam will see things, uh, she will not tell them, and she will go and call their madam, uh, like, like she's gossiping about the housemates, fine and clear. And the madams, they are even worse, okay? All they do, I don't know if about the madams in Nigeria, but you see these ones here, in Saudi Arabia that I am right now, all they talk about is housemates, okay? They don't have any more topics any other topic they don't have and these people they behave so i'm not trying to talk down anybody and this video is for the utopians today okay so let me not switch to another topic so do you guys these people they are like so when she told me that uh my madam uh, she did this she did that and then she has made a statement another statement that um, yeah, like she was the, the CEO, she was the one controlling them, telling them stuff to do because she was the only one that she's the, she is not even what she is the only one because she's still working with like in the company where I am. You know, she's the only one that understands English, like you know, talk to every foreigner that come. So she's going to like interview every new person. <laughs> you guys, just like I noticed when she came to me. So after our whole discussion and talking to me like a nice person, I noticed that this person has a mission. Because she made a statement that uh, she had, they have been here 8 years, 7 years, 5 years, and uh, they've seen a lot of uh, housemates come and go. And I took note of that. You guys, that hit me on a, on a total different stop, spot. And that, after she said that, <laughs> She made that statement i was like mm, okay okay and then she told me she said something like she was like uh you know we housemates uh, uh, they somehow they talk you know like all these mala malam people in, uh, in nigeria in our nigeria even me i told her i told her that you speak like hausa in, for in my country nigeria there, there are some people that talks like you we call them anyways so this she sounds like that she was like uh you know we housemaid we have to be there for our ourselves and we don't have to um, be like this to, to one another that this is not good and the thing is that they always have issues among themselves and this is something i so you guys after she made that statement and there was a girl another ethiopian she doesn't understand english this was the housemaid this is the housemaid of the other Naya. So anytime I'm taking on Naya to the other Naya's house, she's like, she's giving attitude. You know, they don't want to walk. All they do is eye service. You guys, these people are so good at eye service. That even myself, I be, I became pissed. I'm like, it's too much. Let me say, on the seventh month, I couldn't take it in. Like I couldn't hold it in anymore. I had to call my madam. I told her. Um, I feel like these people are taking these things personal. And you know what happens is that when the madams they have issues, these shagalas they take it so personal that they will tell the madam kids, don't go to the uh, this one's house, don't go to that one's house. 
and the madams are having issues. You teach our girl as you are having issues among yourself. Why are you carrying it, carrying it on your head? It's none of your business. So this is what they do that irritates me a lot. I just look at them with so much disgust. You guys, I'm not even joking. Because you're just here to work. And then I told my madam, she was doing like that, blah, 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 blah. And they all came out. There was one night like that. That's after I reported to my madam, my madam told her madam. Probably they scolded her on something. And then she, she like, um... And she came to she was like telling my they all gathered you know this is how they do they will now bring chair and put it around outside like the madame they used to sit <laughs> hey they will now sit outside they will now start talking i think one is one of them is in bish in bish in bish me or bish i don't know she mentioned it to me when i first came uh that was i think that's the state or something in ethiopia or like this i don't know she mentioned it to me. They started talking anyway. Start night, blah 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 blah. And I came out. The one that understood English was among there. And I went to the place. Let's say this is the the play, the swimming pool. The playground is here. Okay, there's like a bridge, but like a transparent iron net that's like separating the two of them. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean. So I uh, show. Sure. I went to sit in the in the the playground. Come and see blast. I started talking. The madam, they were there. What's my business? I start, there was a time that was one madam even talked to me when I first came. She spoke to me about Naya. She said, Why are you letting her do like this? I didn't answer. I almost spat on her face. I'm not even joking, you guys. And then I went inside. I told my madam, I told her, Look, I'm working for you, not for them. Maybe it's something you guys do here, but nobody, none of them outside should talk to me. I'm working for you, not for them, you guys. And my madam, she understood what I said. Okay, see this woman, eh? Probably they've shown her their attitude, so she's not in any way taking sides with this madam's ordinaries. Okay, my madam, she's I wouldn't say she's on my side. They told her, um, like this. I explained to my madam, this is before I came here, we were on agreement. I'm somebody that sticks to agreement, though. Don't come and say we are becoming family. There's no family. I'm here for work, I'm here to work for you. Normally, I'm going to do some extra stuff that's going to spice up my job and make you want to keep me the more in your home. But it doesn't mean that I'm part of your family. I'm never going to be and I don't want to be, okay? Money is just to grab what I have to grab on here in this country and be for mine, okay? And I explained to her, okay, this is what I want, um, blah, blah, blah. And she told me, okay, Carlos Florence, I will talk to her because uh, Anna, I don't like when they talk to my maid also probably i think they have done they've had some misunderstanding concerning this issue also with the previous maid so this is why she told me uh, aslan she doesn't like also and i said oh thank god i even came to report so maybe the madam outside didn't know that i already told my madam everything that happened and then she came and she was that that and my madam was just staring at her like this that one didn't know that I already knew me. I already told her everything. And then she spoke, 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 and she left. And my madam was like, uh, you know what happened. You saw what happened, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, see, life goes on. And to today, you guys are not going to believe that these Ethiopians are not talking to me. I only talk to the Philippines right now because it was my mistake. I never worked with them before, okay? And anyways, least to mention, I there is a Nigerian here working here now there was a like my madam's cousin they came from um Leban lebanon they came to reside in saudi arabia and there was a flat available for compound so they they are now staying here and my madam told me she had she needed someone that if i have someone so i brought somebody and because of these women issues gossiping talking backlashing blah 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 this is why i never wanted to give this body and uh, nobody this job I never wanted to give a Nigerian person this job. I was looking for a Ghanaian or somebody in another country, you guys. I'm fed up of people's problem. I'm not somebody that overlooks people's attitude or people's, um, 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 you know, just a bad attitude towards me. I don't. I'm going to tell you, and a lot of people do not like that, you guys, okay? I'm honest to a fault, and a lot of people do not do not like that. You guys. <laughs> Believe me when I say I say I do not keep friends. I don't have someone I can call that. I'm not my normal friend. My friend, she's my friend, she's my friend. But I don't have somebody that I feel like. The only friend I have right now, I'm not joking, is my fiance. 
yes i'm not joking and some guys not girls i have some guys also in nigeria that i can really call, turn up to like talk to whenever i need someone to talk to i'm not joking you guys but when so after all of that they they stopped talking to me till today they're not talking to me but i still go out and i say hi and the funniest part is when i'm about to take night out at 5 p.m i turn my activity at what they call it my I turn my action button, I put it that way. I turn it to 100. So when I, I am out in the playground, you guys, I am bubbly. I am because I always put my earpiece in my ears. I'm just listening to music and I'm just jumping and playing with Naya. Even all the other kids, they keep jumping and following. Na, 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 na. Flores? That's what the other Naya used to say when she sees me outside. Ah, she would be like this. <laughs> because when she screams like that, I scream with her also. She's like, ah, I'm also like, ah. <laughs> so she's used to that now. Anytime she sees me, she's going to start screaming. Ah! And we both screaming, and everybody is just looking at us. <laughs> and when we are screaming like this, my Naya is just in one corner. She's just laughing. That one, she likes to laugh a lot. You guys, anyway, just this happiness alone, I know that it kills them. Anyways, I don't have them uh, uh, in mind. I mean, uh, what can I do? I'm not gonna, you know. I almost fought with one because of this Naya issue. Anyways, well, thank God for me, my damn day. You know, I feel like they are not used to shouting out themselves. All they do is gossiping. I told my madam, me, we shout though. We shout in my country. I'm gonna shout. It doesn't mean I'm mad or whatsoever. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, these Ethiopians run away from them. I'm not joking. They are trouble. They're gonna cost you trouble. They're gonna do everything possible to send you out of your madam's house and bring in their own country people or country country person whatsoever. Run away from them. You guys, anyways, last last I called somebody from my country um to I called somebody that is still in the company to ask her if she has somebody outside. If you don't understand what I mean by outside somebody that has left the company and is now working outside by herself okay i'm sorry if you still don't understand i can't explain anything about like this so that is what it means um you guys so when i called that one she told me uh, she has somebody that uh, it happens to be somebody that suits you know what i wanted around me and you know i like but last time i got to find out that she also she she was already exposed to people you know so Anyways, we are now two Nigerians working on here and I'm actually giving some space because I don't want her to be like a distraction for me because you know I don't want issues with my madam. So anyways you guys, this is all I have to say. These Ethiopians are trouble, these Ethiopians are boss of themselves and to other Shankaras. And these Ethiopians are gossips. This Ethiopia, they are devilish, they are dangerous, they are oh I'm not joking, you guys. This is what I have experienced. They don't I'm not just mentioning everything in this video. There's a lot that went down that I can't even mention. Okay, there's a lot that went down that I can't mention. Anyways, this is gonna be it for this video. I don't want it to be too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. See, if you're working, you are you guys should you have to work together. To be able to be, I don't, I don't know why one Shakala will be hitting on the other. I don't know. I don't understand why. I watched a video on YouTube concerning this. I never believed until I started to experience it. And the Nigeria that is working here with me, she told me when she was in the company that she worked with Ethiopian. Because I explained to her, I'm like, look, I'm not saying they are bad people, but be careful. Because I can't say because you are coming here to work, you have to talk to only me, be my friend. Uh, uh, I don't even have that big ass myself okay <laughs> so i just explained to her be careful okay these people they are like this is what they did to me i almost got, lost my job even though i did it i just had to spice it up for her to believe me and then she started talking that oh she worked with three of them in two pairs in their house uh, in, the, in her madame house where she spent almost two years and they did blah 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 like this they, they are men they are dangerous i said alhamdulillah thank god that you experienced it i haven't experienced it so this was my first i wish i knew i wouldn't have even said hi or like give them that attention that i gave them at first so this is it guys be careful of these people out there but this is what they did i'm not lying i'm not cooking up stories 
so you guys thanks for watching and if you haven't please consider subscribing we are all shagalas and hopefully we're gonna make it through one day me personally i am breaking through okay i am close to this point where i'm gonna sit and enjoy my hard work by god's grace god keep us alive stay healthy stay safe thank you guys so much if you're new on here again hi i am rachel benedict and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and leave a comment in the comment section below thank you guys so much i love you Mwah.